Hi guys and welcome. So today I'm going to show you how to make my masala steak filling. And what that is, is you will see in the book that I um, have a recipe for masala steak that I use in multiple ways. So firstly, you can use it to make a masala steak omelet, which is what we are going to do today. Um, it's basically an omelet um, stuffed with this filling. And um, I also use it in a fig cook or in a roti or on a sandwich. So um, I've got all my ingredients here. It's basically a sweet and sour type of curry. And remember I said whenever you have bay leaves, um, allspice, cloves, a little bit of vinegar, then you've got that sweet and sour vibe happening. Um, I've got um, steak that I've just cut into little strips like that. I've got two types of onion. The reason why I have some purple or red onion because it's um, more sweet than the white one. And then bell peppers. This is not in the recipe. It is optional. But I always put that in. I've got some chopped tomato and a little bit of tomato paste. I've got my spices there that I will go through shortly. So I'm always going to start with a little bit of olive oil. You can of course use um, whatever oil you want. Um, canola oil, vegetable oil, coconut oil. Um, and then I'm going to add with my, my onions. So remember I'm going to make like a curry base almost. You could either just use white onion or red onion, purple onion, completely up to you. And you, you can also see that I have cut my onions quite chunky, they're not that fine. As you would do if you were making a stew or a gravy or a curry. The next thing that's going to go in, garlic and ginger. Got some garlic and ginger. And just stir that it on. So while that is cooking, I want to take you through the spices. Once again, like I said, I've got some allspice, bay leaves, some cloves, um, and then I've got uh, some ground cumin, ground coriander, a little bit of masala, a roasted masala, leaf masala, or any masala of your choice, um, turmeric, and I've got some crushed red chilies, a little bit of heat, and then salt. I've also got, once again, some smoked paprika. And then, when the uh, um, masala steak is almost done, I will be um, adding a little bit. I've got some brown vinegar here and some sugar that I've mixed. You can see it's quite gooey. And that's going to go in at the end. Okay? So, the next thing, you can see, the next thing that's going to go in is my tomato. And the gas is quite high. So I lightly want to braise that it's on a high heat and slowly but surely you can see the onions starting to caramelize a little bit. First they're going to go translucent but the red or the purple onion cooks just a little bit quicker than the, other, than the white onion and I don't want the white onion to burn. So I'm going to add in my tomato and my little bit of tomato paste. If you are using bell pepper, bell peppers are going to go in towards the end. what I want. So I'm going to take it through it again. I've got a little bit of oil, my onions, garlic and ginger and my tomato and I've got a little bit of tomato paste in there. Okay. So I'm just going to give that two or three minutes just to cook and to soften and then we will get on with the meat and the spices. Guys, so it's about three or four minutes later, and you can see I've just been um, braising this very gently on a very low heat, and this is what it looks like. The onions are soft. Tomato, you can see it's no longer big chunks the tomato, hence I didn't puree it or um, chop it very finely. So this is actually ready for the spices, and like I said, once again, some salt, ground cumin, ground coriander, a little bit masala, that's optional, but I like either leaf or roasted masala, some turmeric, crushed chilies, 
little bit of chili powder and of course this is a sweet and sour style curry so I've got some bay leaf, allspice and cloves and all of that is going to go in in one go and then I am also my favorite a little bit of paprika I love the flavor of paprika and my little bit of brown vinegar and about a teaspoon to two teaspoons of brown sugar and that is going to make our sweet and sour sauce for the masala steak I'm going to cook that for just a little bit cook a little bit more And the minute you see the oil almost separates from the rest of the ingredients, I'm just going to add a teeny bit of water, like that much. Then we are actually ready to put our beef into um, this mixture. You can see the sauce is ready. And you can see I've cut the steak into strips. You can use rump steak, um, tenderized steak, um, whatever steak you want to. So I'm just going to add that in, let's get rid of that, and then I am simply going to mix that through, mix that through, and what I like about this dish guys, I always have a portion of this or double portion of this prepared in advance, I keep it in a Tupperware or a little dish um, in my fridge so the family can use it as and when they want to so often we just make toasted sandwiches if i'm making pet cook they will put it inside there if there's gluti or tortilla or um an omelet like how i'm going to show you today how to make an omelet um then you just stuff it on the inside uh, sometimes i just poach open it up like this and poach eggs in the middle you can really do um so many things with this recipe it's so versatile so remember there's a little bit of sweetness a little bit of sour a little bit of heat of course if you wanted to you could make it a little bit um hot um but i don't like so much heat i prefer the sweet and sour taste guys i've got some yogurt as well that's gonna go in here this is also optional um it's also gonna lend itself to that sweet and sour flavor but give a little bit of creaminess um without making it very really rich instead of the yogurt's just a little bit healthier and I am simply going to stir this through so that all the steak is covered in that sauce and then that is going to cook for about 12 to 15 minutes so what I'm going to do now I am actually going to add some water, quite a substantial bit of water, like that, going to give it another nice stir, and when this is done and the, the steak or the meat or the beef is tender, I'm simply going to garnish it with the bell peppers. Um, if you wanted to, you could put fresh coriander or basil or mint on it. But this is going to cook for about 12 to 15 minutes. We'll come back and check it and um, then we'll make our omelette. There we go. Hey guys, so I'm back in the kitchen and I am about to see what my masala steak looks like. You can see that the onions and the tomato has cooked away completely. It's gone nice and soft and gooey, thick and saucy. It's exactly what I want. The only thing I'm going to do now is add the bell peppers. Remember, you don't have to. Um, I just love bell peppers because it gives so much flavor. So I'm actually going to lift this and you can see what the masala steak looks like. So remember, this is a very basic mix. Um, that you can use for omelettes, for steak sandwiches, for Gatsby, for Fit Cook, 
fruity and even if you decided to put potato in here it would absolutely be a steak or a beef curry so i'm going to add my bell peppers so this cook for about 20 minutes so maybe five minutes longer than i expected but it also always depends on the cut of meat that you've got on the day not all cuts of meat are created equal i believe so always double check it and in actual fact what I had to do with this batch um, you saw me add about one and a half cups of water initially before I closed it and then after about seven minutes I checked it it was still a little bit tough so I added another cup and a half's worth of water and um, only on the second round after about 20 minutes in total it was done so I am not wanting to cook my peppers for that long because I like a little bit of crunch, a little bit of bite in it. But this is my masala stick. And I'm simply going to decant it. And when we are back, I'm going to show you how to use this in an omelette. 